Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again. This is Anita White with Love Your Art. And as you know, we like to jump right in. We have two 10 by 20 canvases, gallery wrapped. They've been leveled and they have been taped on the back. And we have already laid down our base color, which is the Artist Love Acrylic Flow Black mixed with Flow Troll and Water. We are going to torch our air bubbles and look for any debris to ensure that we have as flawless of a canvas to begin with. Right before we lay down our layering colors. We also want to look for any areas that may be a little low or too high and just give ourselves a chance to have a nice level canvas all the way around. We are going to be doing a Dutch bore triptych, actually diptych, there's two of them, not three. And we are going to introduce our colors to the canvas in just one second here. Just making sure we've got color everywhere. Okay, so one more torch. And we can bring these a little closer together. Let's see. Yep, like so. Of course, we're wearing gloves because we're using black and dark colors like black can tend to get everywhere. Difficult to get off your hands when you get it on. So joining us today, we have the Artist Love Acrylic Flow White. We are going to take and give this a nice squeeze, taking it from here and over here, kind of dipping up and then back over there. Okay. Then we have the Artist Loft Metallic Blue. I'm going to put that right on top. Again, giving it a nice squeeze. We also have the Pebio Studio Blue Vert Iridescent. And we are taking it as well, right along with the rest of the group. We have the Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. We're going to put a drizzle of the black in here now. This is the Artist Loft Black, same as the base, but in a squeeze bottle. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, of course, we have the Amsterdam permanent blue violet. One of my absolute favorites. And additionally, we have Pebio Studio Ore Rich iridescent. Iridescents really look nice on black, especially when resin. And of course, we have the Artist Loft Oh, uh, actually, copper. Yeah, I love this color as well. Okay, those look amazing. I like to wrap back around with my favorite, and that's the Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. And that's just so that we get that color to be seen a little bit better throughout. Towards those, I want to see if we can add just a little black, helping us flow more with this. I love that white, so I want to see some lacing. Hopefully, we'll move our little friends over, get them out of the way, give this a nice overall torch again. 
with this Dutch pour, we want to have negative space in both our canvases. So the big dilemma is always what direction do we go? What kind of design do we look for? And I try to do things that'll be complementary of the colors and hopefully bring balance to the entire design in the canvas. So let's just see where we go with this, okay? Here we go. All of these colors are just speaking for themselves. Holy moly. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, I see some air bubbles and we want to get those right away. Don't want them messing up our design. what this is but I see a little something here or paint get that out sometimes dry paint finds its way into the bottom of the container you can't see it this is amazing I am liking it a lot yes I'm not sure which one I like the most but I like both of them quite a bit Checking out the corner here. Yes, the edge looks gorgeous. We'll have to come by and do some touch-ups as part of our finishing work to ensure that our black is fully smooth all the way around. Corners are nice and covered, but overall I have to say this is amazing. I'm pleased with this really really pleased we've got negative space here and there and there and there we've got some here here and there and of course on the tops so i think this was a success let's uh, bring you in for a close-up so you can see okay so here we are for our close-up and as you can see, we got cells and lacing and lots of magnificent colors merging together. Iridescence and sparkle, all this just showing up in one design. This is amazing. I am just loving it. The colors are just so rich and vibrant. The cells are spectacular love it glad we had that white in there to help give us some beautiful lacing you can see it all throughout and that iridescent uh, pebio studio iridescent mixed with that metallic blue really causes for a great vibrant shimmer Ooh, we look at that. Lots of rich, rich, rich color. Okay, we have that first one. Now we'll go over here to our second design. This is the other canvas where we have 
more of the same richness carried over. Lots of rich sparkling. Look at that, that is just gorgeous. Those cells and that lacing, really, really beautiful. Pretty, I like it, I like it a lot. You can see all of the colors that we use, they all seem to have found a way to stand out, but also to blend in. And that's what you want. Good, rich color, look at the cluster of cells there. That's so unique, all the way down here. Beautiful, beautiful design. Okay, here we have it. Two 10 by 20 canvases, Dutch pour diptych. It is available. If you're interested, email me at Anita White, love your art at gmail.com. If you haven't joined us, please subscribe so you can be made aware of the next video and all the future videos that we have um, when they come up. So click subscribe, leave us a comment, let us know what you think about this particular piece of art, as well as any of the art that we have on our channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, let us know how we can best serve you. We really welcome your feedback. We look forward to seeing you with us. And so until the next video, keep loving your art. Have a great day. Have a great time until we see you again. Have a good night. Bye.